the term uh, is a redefinition of UFO, which is unidentified flying object. But what happens if the object's not flying? What happens if it's underwater? You know, you would call that maybe a USO, uh, an un uh, unidentified submerged object. But what happens if it's in space? It's not flying in space. There's no flying in space. It's space. There's no air to fly through. And, and this is in the best scientific tradition, is create a term that generifies what it is that you're talking about with a definition that can cover as many of the things without saying anything about what it, you think it is. We know it's identif unidentified. It's anomalous, meaning it's doing something we don't know what it is what, what, and how it's doing it. And it's an object. End of story. You know, or in this case, phenomena, because maybe it's not an object. Maybe it's a ball of plasma. Is a ball of plasma an object? I, I don't know. Talk to a physicist. But, you know, we think of objects as being solid. That's sort of been the, that has been the redefinition of, of UFOs to UAP.